If I want to start this off by kind of making some sense of these transition words, categorizing them, regardless is kind of a but word. Meanwhile is kind of a but word. They might be different. Meanwhile sometimes has the idea of time involved, but they both usually are about contrast. That's not a good sign. Usually if there's two words that are in the same category, they can't both be right, so they must both be wrong. Thus is a fancy way of saying so. It's a cause and effect word. And then in comparison usually means we're kind of obviously making a comparison, but it also can sometimes be used in a weird way to kind of show a difference, right? It, you kind of are showing that two things are different by comparing them. It's weird, but let's not, let's not rule that one out yet. Let's just see what we got. Um, every chemical compound has a spectroscopic fingerprint, a pattern of reflected light unique to that compound. So upon analyzing the light reflected by the bright regions on the surface of the dwarf planet Ceres, this person uh, was able to determine that the regions contain large amounts of the compound sodium carbonate. This seems like an example. Right, so they're saying every chemical compound has a spectroscopic fingerprint, so it has a unique pattern. Um, so this is like a general idea, and then this is like an example. Now, I don't have a word that's, that kind of means that. I would, I would expect a word like for instance, or for example, I don't have that. It's not a contrast though, so if anything, we're supporting the same point that's in the first one. Um, and it's not a comparison because like the first piece is a, a general statement and then we're we're getting an example of that that general statement we're not like having we're not getting two examples so that doesn't seem to make sense now would so make sense i hope so um right every compound right if i'm going to kind of shorten this every compound has a uh, a pattern so so uh, by analyzing this one place, this person n was able to determine the compound that was there. Yeah, that makes sense, right? So because every compound has a, um, a signature, a pattern, this person could figure out what was going on in this planet. So yeah, it's a cause and effect. I, I don't love it. It's not my favorite uh, kind of answer there. I would have preferred like a for example kind of situation, but you know, you work with what you get. And at the very least, even though my initial reading of the sentences kind of put me in a slightly different direction, I was still kind of able to compare it to the categories that I did have. And yeah, the cause and effect makes sense. But at least do what I did, where when you're having trouble with the sentences, try to shorten them down, get rid of the names of the people. We don't need a resume uh, to understand what's going on. And so uh, we can also replace the transition words that they give us with these category words, these simpler words like button so that we're used to, and maybe hear the connection a little bit better.